here we go. Um, I got that blocked up best I can. I'm going to take a little slice off there that'll be tapered. So this is going to go into part of the picnic tables. I got the benches for the raffle and a couple more done, but I need some more benches and a bunch more two by sixes. So I'm going to cut that and I'll cut two by sixes of it, out of it down till 12, 13 inches, somewhere in there. And then I'll flop it down and I'll cut a couple of uh, benches out of it. And then we'll do that again. So here we go. And as you can see there on that, hopefully you can see, we, uh, we didn't quite trim up that end, but there's lots of stuff in making these picnic tables that'll be, won't, won't use the full length, so I'm not worried about that end. So that was the last two by six that I need for the uh, raffle table. So now I'll just make some more while I make some pages. One thing I have noticed, I'm trying a Kevlar belt on the drive belt, which also wraps around one of the wheels on there. The thing's kind of squeaky, but it seems to last longer. So we'll just see how it goes. It's quite a bit more expensive, but as long as it lasts long enough to pay for itself, it's worth it. I should probably move the camera for you so you can see, but basically I can show you here at the end. 
what I'm doing, I'm just flipping these up on edge so they get good airflow for the time being. You see, I'm struggling with this one because I straightened her up. It's about the right for a bench. Even though she's a little heavy on this end, I don't want to go much thinner on this one, much narrower. Wrong way on me. There we go. Just drop these down a little bit. And we'll have to uh, pull the guide out. I could tape it to see if this is a six inch tank or a five and a half or five and three quarters. They vary on what I get. But to me, the easiest way is got something right here. So this is awesome. This is a six inch. So I can actually get three benches out of this one. It'll be two inch thick. Take me a minute to get another one set up here. But I'll just crank this up. And I'll have to uh, get somewhere to put these. And I'll, put, I'll stick them. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's it. I might uh, actually have something here that was one of them that we chainsaw milled earlier. And it was half of it, uh, you know, one of the slabs was too narrow. So I'm thinking I might actually load it up and make it into a bench. It's too narrow for a top. It's a little wide for a bench. And it's kind of nice to have that straight edge on your legs for the benches. So I'll probably put that up next and I'll stack all my benches here. So I will get those swapped around but uh, I'll grab one of these and show them to you the uh, this will obviously be the bottom side but the top will look similar once it's sanded off but that'll make a nice bench you know this part's good down in here a little piece broke out but that ain't nothing. You can't just uh, kind of sand nice and smooth. So all in all, these will make some excellent benches. So 
So yeah, that's three benches there. So maybe I'll go ahead and pull these up. I'll leave the camera on while I trim this one back. And if I get another six inch, I'll, uh, it's still not a big deal. It never hurts to have another and an extra bench left over because if my next one I do is a six inch and I get three benches out of it I'll have uh, one more than I need but whew, this is heavy that's all right Almost should have got the tractor or pulled the winch out for this bugger. She's heavy. So there we go. We'll start up the uh, sawmill and crank it up and do some cleaning up on this. As you can see there, I should have went quite a bit lower, but I can only do about a six inch depth of cut, so. I'm just taking a quick stop over here. Got the barrel stove cool heater running, so. Had some pieces that were just a little bit long and they were poking out the front of it. So I had to uh, get those back in. Now I'll show you a little trick here. Hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. So what I'm doing there is it's, it's almost cheating. I came over the top and I dropped it down to see how low I need to go. So I need to go down to 16 inches. So I'll crank it back up and cut one more slab. Oop, didn't crank her up fast enough. <laughs> So now what I want to do is I want to go down to about 12 and I'm at 16 and this is about two inches thick. So I'm just going to cut a two by four. So that's a little thicker than the two. I'm gonna clean this up. And I'll have to clean that up separately, but no sense wasting it. So 
So as I'm doing this, I want to kind of take a look here. I think I have a bit of room to work with. This back side's not too bad, but this front side has a chunk missing, so I want to take all my excess off this top side here. The underside is twofold. One, it's chainsaw milled, so it is kind of rough, but it's the underside, so it really doesn't matter. I'll just plane it. I don't bother sanding the underside of the benches real smooth. I just hit them with the power hand planer and fall that good because you just. If someone rubs their leg on it, you don't want it to be all rough, but you don't care if it's all sanded super smooth. I just make sure the edges are good. No sense wasting this. I, I got a bunch of stuff like this that I save, and honestly, lately the the kids have been uh, coming up with all sorts of projects, and they've been uh, using a lot of those odds and ends to build shelves or bird houses, or you know, they've been having fun doing that. So no sense wasting those into the wood pile into the firewood pile so we'll go ahead and make this a true two by four instead of a whatever it is two and a half three Must have been about three. That looks like a, a one by four. So. And after having been cutting my own lumber for a while, it's just kind of funny to go to a hardware store. You know, this is two by four. And it's so much bigger than you know, store-bought lumber. One and a half, what is that? Inch and a half, inch and three quarters by three and three quarters. You know, makes quite a difference, but let me cut this off. And I got a bunch of one by one sticks here. So I'm just going to move these four and I'll get them sticked up. I have some other ones in here. I showed them in a previous video. And these ones I just want to leave out here and I'll stick them and let them dry out here in the sun. And they dry fine in there too. It's just those are ready to be processed. These need some time, so I stack them separate. But uh, yeah, I know since you walk uh, watching me stack these, I will uh, flip you around here and show you. So what I did for right now for the two by sixes is they're just up on edge so they get some airflow and they get dried out. I got the tractor over there. I'll pluck another another one out um, and maybe process a few more. 